uh, not so sunny, the tropics, where we have two systems. One, now a hurricane, that's Lee and Invest 96. This is definitely looking more impressive on the satellite loop than even uh, yesterday at this time. Uh, there is some dry air trying to get near the center. And it's not you know, completely symmetrical, but it is getting there quickly. And I suspect by later tonight, we're going to have uh, uh, even a stronger hurricane than we do now. Uh, briefly today, about three hours ago, two to three hours ago, uh, I became visible. It's now uh, started to cover up again with the uh, cloud cover that fires up around the center of these storms. And we have uh, a hurricane that uh, very quickly gets to a Category 3, then a 4 by the weekend. There's Sunday, 2 p.m., Category 4, 150. 50 mile an hour winds uh, down just a touch to 145 as it starts to see a weakness in the atmosphere. There's high pressure to the west or to the east, northeast, and there's also a, a trough to the west. So there's a weakness here, and we see this turn day six and day seven, uh, well before the Bahamas, well before Florida, and all indications again today are that it will continue to make that turn and move up the east coast, where it could be an issue up uh, in the northeast or even a little farther north into Atlanta, Canada. That, uh, that, uh, there are some scenarios, long, long range, and we're talking out uh, eight to ten days from now uh, that we could see a, a storm up there, uh, potentially make a landfall. But for us, again today, a very good agreement that this tracks between Hatteras and Bermuda, and that would be out uh, about, let's say, eight days from now. Here are the uh, forecast uh, winds. Tropical storm force wind probabilities extend down toward Puerto Rico, uh, but only about a 10 to 20 percent chance of those winds reaching the islands. Uh, we do have in the far eastern Atlantic another system, this is Invest 96. This could become a named storm, and its track is very quickly north uh, with all the latest guidance. There's another wave I'll let you know that is uh, it's pretty much over Central Africa now. It is headed off the coastline in about three to four days, and the models are spinning that up. So that'll be another system that we're going to have to keep an eye on in the Atlantic, I would say uh, late this week or early next week. All right, temperatures are nice, a beautiful evening. Temperatures are cooling off slowly, I'll be dropping about a degree each hour. Uh, beach and boating conditions continue to get a little bit better too, seas about two to three, and we have uh, lots of sunshine on the way for tomorrow. Enjoy this evening. The humidity hasn't been too bad. It's climbed a little bit, mid and high 70s, and 91 tomorrow, sunshine, uh, sort of a, a very similar pattern to today, and the seven-day forecast has the chance for a few showers uh, Friday, Saturday, and even more so Sunday. We will see some afternoon rain work from the lake toward the coastline.